is going on everybody? It is your boy Skittle Fabs. If you are new to my channel, I am an SRT4 fanatic. Let's just get into it. This is my vibratory tumbler. I bought it at Harbor Freight for $50. And then I also bought the Tumblr Meteor, which was about twelve or fourteen dollars. Let's just get into it and tear the stuff open and give you guys a better angle so you guys can see what's inside. All right, so I got my razor blade, and you can see that I've never opened it before. I've never even seen one of these in person, to be honest. I'm go ahead and open it. Styrofoam. You got the tumbler. You got owner's manual and safety instructions right there. So nothing else in the box. Got rid of that, and we got our vibratory tumbler. You can see there's an on and off switch, a warning to prevent serious injury, and electric shock. We got that little logo sticker, central machinery, vibratory tumbler, springs on the side, it shakes, a little wing nut right on the top. And I think there's a washer. Yeah, there's a washer with a little rubber grommet type thing. And you got the lid, I think. Yeah, that's the lid. Really nothing inside but a bunch of whatever. Um, so let's go ahead and plug this thing in. So there's your on and off switch. Off right now, I think. We'll find out in a minute. Yep, it's off. All right. So I also bought the Tumblr Media. So let's go ahead and open that. I already dropped this when I got it. So. You can see that they're like little rock type things, but I think it breaks down over time. Let me go ahead and add this. So I'm gonna fill it like one fourth, almost halfway. That's about halfway, and that's about a half of this. Uh, how much is this? Oh, five pounds. So I put about two and a half pounds in there. Now, go ahead and throw your nuts and bolts in there. This one I can't get apart. Hopefully that comes apart. This one comes apart. I got these. I got these manifold bolts. I got ten of them. Throw those in there. Uh, that one's a stud, so that's nine. And I do have a stud that came out of the head. So I'm gonna toss that in there too. And that's it. I do got a bunch of over here too, so I'll throw those in. Might as well, you can see how rusty these ones are. All these are rusty. All of them. So Throw that in, put the lid back on, put your washer with the rubber facing down, put your wing nut back on, tighten that. I'll just do it till it's nice and snug. Don't crank it down. Okay, there we go. Now let's just go ahead and turn it on and I'll give it about 45 minutes and I'll come back. All right. So it's been 50 minutes, so let's go ahead and take this wing nut off. Alright, there's the wing nut. There's the washer with the little rubber grommet. Don't lose those two. Then your lid. It is a little bit warm at the base of where the motor is. It feels warm to the touch, but not bad. It's cleaning them up. It's not bad. I think if we give it another, like, 20, 30, maybe an hour. It'll be nice and clean. Let's go ahead and wipe one off real quick. Seems like it's cleaning up. All the rust is being removed. 
in there. But these things have changed in color also. So they've been clearly rubbing away the rust. So we're going to go ahead and put this back on for another half hour to an hour. And we'll get back to it. Alright guys, it's been about 45 minutes, so take off your wing nut. Mind you, this is the second 45 minute cycle we've done so far. We're going to see how it looks. Wing nut, washer, and then rubber washer. Take the lid off. It's not bad. Just that one bolt and nut hasn't come apart yet, but probably just take a wrench and socket to it. But they've been cleaning itself up. Seems pretty nice. Rust is almost gone. I think the media is supposed to break down, but I'm not 110%. But it seems like it's doing the job. I just gotta keep the cycle going and yeah. That's it. That's uh that's what's inside looking like right there. Mind you. That's 90 minutes it's been going, 45 and 45, and it's still the same temperature as I started with. And I think it's, a, overall, I think it's a nice unit, especially for the money, 50 bucks, can't go wrong. And I didn't have to do any work with a whiz wheel, cutting my finger off or not. So, yeah, I give it a thumbs up. Not a two thumbs up, but I give it a thumbs up. So if you guys are interested in this, I'll leave a link in the description below for the tumble and the media. So, till then guys, be easy and stay tuned. Peace.